Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino. We are looking at this beer right here. This beer is from the Halo Brewing Company, picked up for me by the one and only Greg. So, thank you very much, Greg, for picking this up. Halo Brewing Company. This is our Golden Ratio, which is a dry hopped pale ale at 5.9% alcohol by volume. Bang. So, this was bottled on August 29th. I think he picked this up for me at the very beginning of September. It's now the first day of November, uh, so this is just over 60 days old. I mean, a dry hopped pale ale at that age might have lost a bit of its flavor. It should still hold up enough to be good. I mean, it's, it's 61 days old or so. It should still have some nice flavors to it. I can only hope. Now, we, we've talked about the watermarks with my hard water. Even my scrub brushes is not really doing it anymore, uh, but it is what it is. It's, it's mostly now. Now I think I've gotten the uh, now I think I've gotten the cleaning regimen down to a way that the hard water isn't causing it by the cleaning. I think the hard water is now causing it by the drying. Uh, I had five glasses over here, and three of them had watermarks. Three of them didn't. The three that had watermarks were the three that were not on my on my little thing. On my little thing, on my, on my, fucking grid work, uh, to lift it off so air can get in and under. So these ones, this one was flat down on the table, which now gets cleaned every day. For those of you that have reviewed here before, you know how long sometimes this table can go. It's part of the fun of the table. Okay, so there we go. Beautiful haziness to it. Uh, not quite like gold, it's more like that, uh, oh, it's kind of like a murky, uh, murky brown, like starting a murky brown. It looks sort of like, uh, sewage runoff to me, or, or drunken pee, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you, you're really dehydrated and you have that really dark pee. Pfft, reminds me of that. And of course, very hazy, bright white head. Little snap, crackle, pop. It, it, you know what? I do like hazy beers, so to that it's visually appealing. But I don't think, uh, I don't think for me, this darker color of gold mingles with the bright white head as well as it could. I think that might be not as visually appealing as it could be. Uh, but again, visual doesn't matter all that much. The taste is what matters the most. Scent. Okay, this is this is a strange one because this is this is syrupy sweet, like multi syrupy sweet, which I don't like. It is there's some orange and some uh, passion fruit, which I do like, and then there's that like that floral perfuminess, like uh, like uh, grandma soap, grandma washroom soap, which I don't like. So there's a scent I don't like, a scent I really like, and a scent I don't like. So I guess uh, I guess we can say that that it's a mid range for scent for me because the scent that I do like I really do like and the two scents I don't like one of them is meh and the other one just reminds me of going into my grandmother's washroom and yeah let's try it cheers Okay, so for the part that really matters, the taste, it's not a bad beer. Uh, Halo seems to be doing, well, most Toronto breweries seem to be mostly IPAs and pale ales from what I've noticed. Uh, Indie Ale House, really well known for their IPAs and their pale ales. Uh, Bellwoods, really well known for their IPAs and their pales, as well as their sours and stuff. But their IPAs and pales, Roman Candle, Cat Lady, uh, Witch Shark... Halo seems to be the same thing. He brought me a bunch of beer from Bandit, and most of those are hoppy beers. Uh, I mean, GLB, RoboHop, and uh, all that sort of stuff. Citra, uh, what's a Citra Diction? 
Uh, they have, like, they're well known for their hoppy beers as well. There's just so many breweries in Toronto that are well known for their hoppy beers uh, that I think it's almost an almost overdone thing in Toronto. Uh, but that's just me talking. You might love hoppy beers and that's okay for you. For me, I, I love my multi beers more so. Uh, is this a bad hoppy beer? No, it's not a bad hoppy beer. I just, I just, I, I'm looking over at the floor of, of the 18 beers he brought now. I still have, uh... I still have, what, uh, 10 at least, and they're for the most part all hoppy, and I'm a little, a little saddened by that, to be honest with you. I know for a lot of people, uh, porters and, and imperial stouts and stuff are the beers that aren't really sessionable, and pale ales and IPAs and stuff are what they want to session. For me, it's the other way around. I, I, I find that malt does not affect your palate as much. It's not a palate destroyer. It's not a palate wrecker. And for me, I am more prone to to uh, to sessioning stouts and porters and white beers and uh, even even all the way to cream ales and stuff. I mean, I don't really like cream ales, but I'm more more prone to session them. Does this beer taste bad? No. But is it something I could see myself drinking more than one of ever, really? Probably not. I mean, I could see myself in a few weeks have one of these if it, well, I was at Halo. I could have one of these with, with Greg or anybody else. But is it something I see myself drinking on the regular? Not at all. And, I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's just, it's just the way it is for me. So, medium-bodied. Low carbonation though. You get that syrupy sweet forefront like I said on the nose. Uh, back end, very very floral and perfumey. It gives you that uh, hit in the back of the throat. Right up, at, uh, right up on each side of the tonsil basically. Um, I get hit with that, that perfumey like taste. There's also a little bit of an orange taste in the middle. It's not a bad beer, I just don't think I could drink a whole bunch of them because of that, that build-up on the back of the palate. Yeah, with each sip, it seems to build up just a little bit more on the back of the palate. Um, do I hate it? No. Do I love it? No. Would I drink it again? Under certain circumstances. Do I think Radio, uh, sorry, uh, Golden Ratio is a bad beer? No, I, I think it is a well-made beer. I just don't think it personally fits my flavor profile, and that's okay. Out of 10 on it, I would personally give it probably a 6. You might give it a 10, and that's perfectly okay. I am okay with that. It means there's more of it for you, because I can drink a shitload of beer, and if I don't really like it, it leaves you with a lot more stuff to drink. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Gregory. Halo's Golden Ratio. Bye-bye.